because okay. we've been hanging out too Here comes Cindy Schubach by the door now. Okay. okay. Give it a second for Cindy then. Yeah. Cindy's coming. Okay. I'm surprised Mike Nagy's not here though. Mike always shows up and Cindy. she's not a voting member? No. Okay. So yes. Yeah, she, she is. Yeah, she hasn't been approved. Right. Well, yes. So right. we can take care of all of that. So okay. it's Mary right. and so I'm you, sorry. Yeah. Can you okay. call the mayor's office? Yes. Tell oh, Len we need some. Yeah. So maybe it's not unless you want me to call her. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. I'll, I'll do it, Mary. You have a lot to do. I'm, that, I'm going to let him know we've been hanging on a string. Cindy, what would you like? Um, do you need minutes and uh, agenda? Well, I think there are the minutes, but uh, the other. Uh, Document. Yeah. Agenda. Okay. And then we have a couple other things. Okay. okay. So let's <clears throat> get started. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start. Um, welcome to the Northampton Commission on Disability. This meeting is being um, audio and video recorded. And the first agenda item is public comment, but I don't believe we have any members of the public here. There's no one here. There's no one here, so we will go past that, and now we will um, inter do uh, introductions, so we'll just go around and say our names so that everyone knows who's here, especially me. Okay. Um, Would you like to start down at the end with Cynthia? Sure. Mm -hmm. Cindy, you want to start? Um, I'm Cindy Schubert, member of the committee. Okay. Dave Horton, member of the committee. Okay. Daniel Lander. Great. Ruth McGrath, hang her on her. She's <laughs> secretary. <laughs> secretary. Okay. Secretary. Oh, Susan McCreary, vice chair. Tori Eklund, chair. Patty Shaughnessy, ADA coordinator and liaison to the committee. City Councilor Mary Ann LaBarge. Okay. So um, the and next. I was, I was just going to add that um, Roy Martin called and so he's excused. I okay. So, um, do we have a quorum? We need to approve the minutes from okay. June and July. You do not. We do not have a quorum. We do not have a quorum. Two. We do. Three, four, five. Four. Five is a quorum. Five okay. is a nine members. Yes. I'll okay. say yes if we're looking at nine members. We, yes. You so, do. we do. Okay. okay. So, um, we need to approve two sets of minutes because we did not have a quorum last time. Mm -hmm. So um, I can make a motion to approve the June minutes. I'll okay. second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No one. Okay, great. Um, can somebody make a motion to approve the July minutes? Oh, I have a question. I wasn't here for July, so can I technically even approve the minutes? No. Okay, I think so. Okay. You didn't. You weren't yeah, here. I think so. Okay. Can someone else make a I'll motion? I'll second that. No, I mean, can you can yes, make it? Do it first. Do it first. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of July. Okay, can anyone second that? Daniel. Daniel see. seconds. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. And excuse me, Ruth, do you, are these on our website? When Are the minutes on the website? Not right at the moment. I've been working to revamp the whole website. It's okay. all cleaned up. Right now we only have two pages, front page with the explanation, and not the schedule of all the meetings. Mm -hmm. And then and then there was some stuff that you would send me that we all took off. The second page has all the meetings scheduled for the next year. Uh, That's great. What else does it have? It has some other stuff on it. Oh, it has the agenda. I post the agenda up there okay. before as soon as I get it. Um, and we're, I do, I've been working to revamp the uh, minutes page and the links page. The problem I got with the links page is I talked to Stavros because yours is gone. Mm -hmm. They ran into legal problems, so they just took it down. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. They have wow. no links at all. They had a ton of them, right. and I was just going to use theirs as long as they were okay. established. Oh, so so let's hammer. move on. Can I, can I just add one more thing, mm -hmm. Tori? Um, that in the lobby, there's, <clears throat> by the end of the week, it should be done, a com Commission on Disability bulletin board on one of the rotating bulletin boards. I so like it'll have... Out here? I like that. <clears throat> yeah, oh. it'll have our oh. minutes the mm -hmm. um, um, agenda and then odd and ends that we yeah. come up with like for that's information that's, yeah, that's that fantastic yeah. so that'll was be that your idea? idea that's a great idea well yeah. it came out of a meeting we were having i said yeah. oh why don't we do that's a, a great board? idea meeting patty and i went to yeah was that through a board meeting no it was a group of um a group of grassroots oh, activists yeah that's who, good yeah. yeah so it was like oh well then let's yeah that's what i thought that's a really a good idea yeah, for any right. of, um, communication there Okay, mm -hmm. so um, let's move on with 
the um, agenda. Can the next ask, who seconded the Daniel? Daniel. 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 Okay. Daniel did. Okay. Um, the next I'll item post. on the agenda is the review of the bylaws committee. And, and I put that on there because bylaws is something that we had talked about. Yeah, we never did um, anything about and, that. Uh, you well, know, now we don't need to because the Yeah, because everything's changed. No, that's not. The bylaws are how you function. I know, right. but it doesn't change when it, we become a commission. The bylaws don't change at all. Well, well we don't have, we have any, any bylaws. So okay, we, so that's we, all right. <laughs> we have, that makes sense. Sorry, Susan. Right. <laughs> we have the bylaws, and then we need what is, you know, so it's sort of like how are we operating. Okay. Like, you know, yeah. um, and you can take some of that out of the ordinance, mm -hmm. but then specifically okay. mm -hmm. the bylaws. So, so we're forming a bylaw committee? Well, I think we had one, but it was kind of yeah. by the yeah, wayside a little bit. We just kind of dropped it a little bit. I think we dropped it a lot. Yeah. Should, we just, should we just do this and get it over with and just get it done? I agree. So who wants to be? I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I will tell you, Patty, you need to be there. You have to, she probably has to be, oh yeah, yeah that makes sense, there. yeah. Uh-huh. What, are we, what are we looking at to do this? I don't know, tell me, tell me what you're thinking and I'll tell you if it works. I know. I don't for, know. for me, I'm going to say if it can be sometime after the beginning of October. Mondays are better for me. Oh, uh, yeah, I do think we can. Mondays are better for me. Well, we've got to be careful because... Columbus Day October weekend. Second time of Monday is a huge forum here at the Senior Center. Okay. From 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. on the mm -hmm. developers thing. Okay. And okay. a lot of counselors will be attending that and uh -huh. many developers and people interested in this. This will be big. Okay. So you're, uh, and Monday really is Monday the, is really, but the best. tell me what other days and then I can tell you. Uh, I think it'll work. is Pulaski Day Parade and it's a holiday. Yeah. Is that that's that's Columbus yeah, there's Day no weekend? School on the 14th. That's Columbus Day weekend. Yep. I, I don't know if I'll be here. Sunday. Yeah. Does that put us like for the next board meeting after that, the week after well, that? The next board or meeting 15th. would be the 15th. <coughs> the 15th? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The third uh, Tuesday of the month. That's the 15th. Is typically. Right, it's the 15th. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm assuming. Do those, Wait after are, early evenings best for do everybody? those who are doing this want to maybe stay afterwards and do scheduling? So no, that we, yeah. we can no, we we do it now. now. Yeah, yeah just so there. pick another day, then I'll, if I can do it, I will. Um, what about Tuesday or Wednesday, October 8th or 9th? Why don't we pick Those Tuesday the 8th? Okay. Tuesday the 8th. What time? At what time now? What, uh, what works for both of you? Five I'm four, flexible. Four. I'm, I'm busy during the day, so anytime exactly. after three o'clock works for me. Because I get out of crossing guard at quarter of, so I might be feeling. Want to do four thirty well, or four fifteen? Let's do it four. Four. Okay. We can start pulling things out. I'll just get her as fast as I can. What time? Why don't we just do four fifteen? I get out of quarter of. You'll quarter be here at four. Yeah. yeah. Should be here at four. Depending on it, if not five okay, after, well, so we can start. Okay. And start pulling things. Is it going to be here? Yeah, we can do it here if you'd like. Um, okay. We have a member of the public who is now here, so I don't know if you want to open it up again oh, okay. to the public. Um, very small. I don't know. We, do that no, no, we, we don't usually we do it. We usually do it when we do it. Yeah. 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 Y
Because I was going to say, we'll report at the next meeting. Yeah. We'd always have it done before the next meeting. Uh, yeah, yeah, great. The October meeting. Would I be able to get them um, all together on Thursday morning? Okay. So, so if I do, I can, yeah, and then I'll call you. Yeah, just call me. I'll come by yeah. and pick them up. Yeah, I can leave okay. them at the front desk. Yeah, that would be that's great. super. Yeah. Okay, sorry, Lauren. Okay. Sorry. No, okay. that's um, that's great. And then and then all of them, you all can give us a report mm -hmm. at the next meeting. Yep. Okay, the next item is the um, review of the proposed conference for 2014. I can tell you that I sent out the email that I was requested to do at the last meeting. Mm -hmm. Susan uh, responded. She can help in a limited way. Marianne already said she can't help, and I believe Tori, you uh, said she Excuse me. I correction. I said I do not want to commit myself being on the committee I don't, on I, a full time basis. Yeah, and okay. I I can't I can't commit myself either to being on the committee. That's what yeah, we both said that. And that's all I've had for a response so far. And what did you get for a response? Just Susan's the only one who answered my email. No one else responded? I nope. said I could help in a limited way. Yeah. Exactly. It's like and so, Ruth, are you willing to coordinate it? Like, yeah. be the, okay. There's a lot of work associated with that there stuff, is. though. It I is. mean, I, I've done so many fundraisers like that. Yep, I've done. I mean, just, yeah. I've well, done two like this one I know. in Washington. It's, just, it's like a part-time yeah. job it for sure six is. or eight yeah. months, yeah. and yeah. I'm not willing I, to do that. I yeah. can't. I just can't. I have too much. Do um, you want to revote on it and not have it? I mean, there's nothing says we have to do sure. it. Sure. Right. Well, I do you want to wait until the next meeting when more people show up? So there might be people actually interested in doing it. I don't know. Well, I know Mike Nagging said that day he was not interested. He was not interested. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think in theory it sounds like a great idea, but when you think about what's involved with it, there's so much. There's only so much time. Well, what, what are the responsibilities? You organize the entire event, basically, and put I, it on. I handed out a spreadsheet yeah. um, a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was back yeah, in that June. Was a really good and just had yeah, it was awesome. Some of the things that needed to be done. Mm -hmm. um, you have to work with vendors. You have to work with um, the senior center. You have to work um, just electrical, financial. There's, right. there's a ton of stuff yeah. that has to be done. It's the reach. It's out. a big yeah. job. It's Usually, huge. getting the vendors is the big thing. Commitment. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and sure. even getting yeah. the vendor, you have to worry about things yeah. like hotels because yeah. they come from all over the state. Yeah. Um, they can come from out of the state. Yeah. Um, things like giving them lists of restaurants, you know, telling That's them. That's the little stuff, too. Those are the yeah. little things, but they exactly. all. It's huge. It's yeah. huge. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. And it's a part time job for about six months. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we don't have the, the, mm -hmm. the volunteer pool yet, and we don't have really. Uh, enough members that can really commit yeah. to make it successful, I think. Mm -hmm. And at all this point. not unless if you wanted to do it and you went on the outside and got agencies to come in with you and help you start it. I like to complete it. Exactly. Co sponsor, that's an idea too. We could do that. That would be up I to know. you. The lady, I forgot her name, but I met her here at the Health and Safety Fair. She came to the house and went over all the oh, from Mass Commission. She was really excited line. about, you know, if we had it, she wanted to be here. She might work with us. Mm -hmm. She works with all different disabilities, too. So. But I think what we're trying to say, Ruth, Tori does not have the time. Mm -hmm. I do not, and I'm not going to commit myself mm -hmm. to six months and reaching out to people, not with schedules that and people work. That's you know? why it was just a suggestion. But what I'm it's, okay. right. yeah, it's actually a good idea in theory. It's it a is. great idea. It is. It's just you need about five people that are willing to commit a lot of time, a lot of time to do it. And I would say you wouldn't. I wouldn't take less than five uh, people committing to do it. it. I don't. So do we want to revote? Maybe we need to postpone it. Like you postpone know, if you see me a year from now, I might feel differently right. about my postpone time. Postpone it until I'm definitely. Yeah. I think that's right. Okay. So who wants to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we postpone this until until further notice. Until further notice, yeah. And who wants to second that? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. But it is really a great idea. It and is. And maybe, maybe at a later it. time, I'll even commit to doing something <laughs> more than that, just not right now. OK. Um, right. Report on the sidewalk enhancements in front of City Hall. Is that you, Pat? Yep. Awesome. Yes. Um, Isn't it? I don't know awesome. if anybody's gone by Every in, day. in front of City Hall, yep. but it is 100%, yes. 150% oh, better. They did yep. a marvelous job yep. on the sidewalk um, in front of City Hall. It mm -hmm. enhances walking for everyone, and they have the, um, the, the uh, grates. 
the uh, curb oh, cuts. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, and for the blind, you know, yes. the whatever Tactile, that. Tactile. Yeah. Um, okay. I think that it was a very good suggestion. Oh, that absolutely. We had sent a letter to the mayor. I went in and saw the mayor and talked with him because we were looking at definitely a lawsuit there oh, yeah. of somebody getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Now, Close, yeah. also on Facebook, it was there showing the BPW employees of how they were working hard. They worked day. hard. I walked by there yes. several times when they were working. Yes. Yeah. And I even thanked them when I went by. And on Facebook, well, what, Danny? many people thank the Board of Public Works. Mm -hmm. Lots of yeah. employees did. Yeah. And what I'm suggesting is that this commission send a letter, a letter to the mayor's office and mm -hmm. also to the Board of Public Works, to Ned Huntley, to commend all his EPW workers who were involved on site mm -hmm. to make that happen. Yeah, they did a great job. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the next agenda item is development of guest speaker schedule for FY14. Mm -hmm. okay. So I don't, I don't, I didn't know if <clears throat> people would have ideas now or that you wanted to propose that people would come up with some ideas of who we would like to have at our meetings. I'd like to give it some okay. thought. I think if everybody came back to the table with one, right. um, we'd have something to work with. Do we want one every month or every other month? That's That was my question. I was, sometimes I wonder. I, I would was, go every other because yeah. we might have other issues yeah. that we'd want to bring up. That's right. what I was, I, that's funny that you and I people are saying that. that because I I agree. I think that sometimes we need a meeting just to ourselves. Yes. Yes. So I, I think, think right. every other month would be good. And I don't have any ideas popping into my head right now. So I would propose that maybe we think about this and put this back on the agenda for next month. I agree, month. because Absolutely. there's a possibility we might not be able to fill every other month. So if we look at maybe doing it, because we have how many meetings a year? Ten. Ten. Danny, what? Quarterly. Quarterly. That's an interesting thought. Yes, it is. So I, I think every, it makes sense. Every three, I like three that months. idea. I do too. Is that something we need to vote on? No. That, no. That's just a, or is that just, just, a, no, it's just a scheduling thing? Organization. Yeah. I think quarterly. I think is quarterly yeah, that's is a good awesome idea. idea. Thank you. <laughs> that's great. Um, okay. Um, so. Now we are. Um, so that's table until next month that we bring up right. our, our names. Yeah. Um, we're down to, to new business unless. Patty, do you have any, or did anyone have any announcements they wanted to do before we do mm -hmm. new business? I have one announcement. Okay, Patty has an announcement. Yes. I'd like to invite everyone to our open house here on Sunday from one to three. <clears throat> this is National Senior Center Month. And so we are having an open house Sunday from 1 to 3. And we're going to have demonstrations. People can see what kind of classes we have. The fitness center oh. will be um, open for people to see what that's all about. We'll have light refreshments. We have some entertainment. And staff will be right. here to answer questions. And um, mm -hmm. that's, that's really, really nice. That's really great. Great. Phone banking. Yeah. So you're all invited. Hope okay. you can come. Well, we're going to miss out on the food. We're doing phone banking. I'm not on Sunday. I'm working here Sunday. Oh, you are? I'm not scheduled to do the phone bank. I haven't got enough voice left to do much of anything. What are you doing? That's all I have. Okay, thank you. I'm doing the, uh, the applications, the green sheets for people who apply for membership. And I take the pictures on the camera. That's not right. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Cynthia has a question. Okay. Yeah, Cynthia, you have a question? Know, what's the date of that open house? It's this Sunday, September 15th. 15th. Yep. Um, you said it's National Senior Center. We, yeah. Okay. You want the it's speaker it's National day. Senior Center Month. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, for new business, I had one thing that I had emailed you about, yep. Patty. Does, does anyone else have anything else? Okay. I, I do. I have. Oh, yeah. Did somebody say I do? I do. Yeah, Cynthia okay. and I do and Ruth does. Okay, so I will let other people say. Um, I just want to have time to talk about transportation again. Um, who said I do first? 
Cynthia. Cindy? Cindy? Yeah. Cindy? Okay. <laughs> What's your new business? Now, it's about accessibility. I would like to see all businesses that have stairs, have railings on both sides. Because if not, they only have one, they're um, assuming that uh, everyone uh, has use of both hands. And, you know, that's not the case for many, many people. You know, mm -hmm. if it's on your good side going down, it's not on your way going up and vice versa. So mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be a, a real, just a little improvement, and it wouldn't cost that much. Okay, when we're looking at what you're saying, we're looking at just not Northampton, we're looking at Florence and Leeds. Mm -hmm. Every <laughs> business that you're talking about. Correct? Well, I should think so. Because we need to specify this in the minutes. Mm -hmm. When you're saying all businesses, you are talking about the city of Northampton, Florence, and Leeds. Okay. Is there a particular business that that you go to all the time that it's a problem more than others? Well, um, I have that issue too so sometimes. So many but. of them, I can't really mm -hmm. tell you mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which ones. Uh, do only well, see, my biggest gripe is they don't have a railing for the last step, so I just fall off the last step because I'm yeah. thinking I'm at the end and boom, mm -hmm. you know. So maybe it would be a good idea for people who are affected by this issue to maybe think about some specific places. And I, I'm thinking of, you know, letter writing or some way of bringing the issue to attention of specific businesses. But I think Is that the place of the committee to do that? Well, like broadly? Well, what, what I would suggest, <clears throat> excuse me, is that maybe Cynthia would call the building commissioner's office mm -hmm. to find mm -hmm. out what in fact is the requirement if okay. there is mm -hmm. um, and go from there and then the com commission can figure out what role it might want to play there you go, there you go. Okay. sounds great that sounds very good because you just can't look at yeah broad well i go to this store or that store well i figure if you go to one frequently enough and you know them and you're a patron you but might I'm want to even say that. something to them she's talking about yeah, businesses general. in general yeah so you can't just target at one or two yeah you need to say all businesses yeah who deal with the public mm -hmm. okay should have rails on both sides okay. Dan has something to say. so dan, dan you have something to say i was just the city council. Contact the city council to the legal council. The city council. Oh, each individual councilor yeah. in the area. In the businesses that are in their ward. Right. To find okay. out so if that's like the maybe the, a third step to all yep. of this. So uh, yep. that's it, one alternative. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think, I think what, starting with Cindy. I think what the, Patty yeah. had stated was the right way to go mm -hmm. for Cynthia to talk to the building commissioner, mm -hmm. so that we know what the regulations Louis are. Louis Hasbrook. Yes, Louis Hasbrook is the. Director of the as the building inspector and Chuck Miller is the assistant. Mm -hmm. Chuck Miller. Yeah. Louis Hasbro right. is the, the director and Chuck Miller is the assistant. In the office is in the municipal office building. Right. First floor, right? Second floor, whatever it is. Uh, the bottom yeah. oh, you which is yeah, the yeah. first floor actually. Yeah. So it's at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Ruth, you had. Mine is just quick. I don't know if any of you saw the article on in 22 News last week about is it Burlingame. I forgot the name of the city again with a B. Um, they put in a 100% completely accessible playground for children, disabled children. Oh, that's and, awesome. Where? Um, I think it was. I I think it was probably, it's, it's in Massachusetts, but now I can't I remember. heard about that on NPR, actually, yeah. and I don't remember where it was. Yeah, I've yep. forgotten. 
but um, I was curious, so I, I talked to Patty about it and found out that we have handicapped accessible playgrounds in Northampton. We do? Yeah, there's yeah, different, and, uh, at some of them there's um, special equipment oh, that's attached, mm -hmm. yeah. or that oh. they, you know, had it built huh. when the playground was yeah. Jack, um, it, um, Jackson, Jackson Street, Street School, probably. I know my nephew, who's a contractor, helped mm -hmm. design that. Yeah, so I talked to the Recreation Department, oh, we good. talked about, they're going to get me a complete list, and then I was thinking we were talking about putting that pamphlet back together again with accessibility <laughs> yeah. places. Mm -hmm. That might be something that we could yeah. add, because... You know, we talk a lot about disabled adults, but we don't really talk about disabled kids at all. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. So. Yeah. Good point. That's, um, thank you. That's, that's great. That was it for me. Okay. okay. Um, so, the, uh, I had two things. Oh, I'm sorry. If you were ready to do transportation, I have two things. I am ready to do okay. transportation. Um, everybody have, has received, it's an, uh, it's a letter from me. Um, as well as a brochure that's attached, which is green. You don't have it for you. I mean, okay. I'll send it to you um, um, electronically. Okay, yeah, great. I should have thought of that. That's okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So this, I had mentioned this before, that we're putting on a um, seminar, and it's called Public Accommodations, and it will go over ADA um, guidelines, and yes. it's being done here by Hannah Goodwin, who does um, this in various locations. Mm -hmm. It will be here on September 26th from 9 to 1. Okay. And it's pretty much for people like on a committee on disabilities, Commission on Disabilities, um, people who work in, in municipalities on how to deal with the public if there is um, a disability. Uh, for people coming into the office or like if it was uh, the senior center, for example, mm -hmm. and it the green sheet tells you what will be covered, um, like appropriate language for referring to people with disabilities, mm -hmm. um, challenging situations, an overview of the um, ADA Rehabilitation Act, <clears throat> excuse me, civil rights legislation, mm -hmm. um, problem solving. It, it just is a wonderful. Um, opportunity for um, people to get involved. So I hope everybody on what the Commission on on? Disabilities signs up for it. What day of the week is that on? It's a Thursday. So 8.30 mm. to 9, it's a continental breakfast, and then 9 to 1, it is the uh, presentation. Mm. So th this was offered up in the Berkshires it's last December, good. and mm -hmm. I wasn't able to get in on it, and I thought, oh, it would be a great thing to have here in Northampton for city employees and um, a number of other communities have been invited mm -hmm. to attend this. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is, I, and what, the reasons why yeah, this is being yeah, done, Patty, right. I think you should explain why yeah, yeah. this has come forth. Yeah, there, there was a situation with a city employee um, that <clears throat> was a little disparaging towards a disabled uh, individual, and it's like, you know, people don't necessarily, because you work with the public, you don't necessarily mm -hmm. know how to work with the public. Right. Um, and that could be true even for a non-disabled person. Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm -hmm. there are ways that <clears throat> everybody should feel um, part of the um, environment and not feel like they're sort of second-class citizens. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, um, um, What's this called, this training? It's called Public Accommodations. Public accommodations it's called public accommodations and it's it's focusing on um, how to work with people that have disabilities Correct. yeah yeah so there's a number of categories. do you need to know in advance um, I, I do coming? because I have I only can have so many people in it um, mm -hmm. yes what is this city department of program well you, you would write city council or you would write commission on disability so if it was somebody like from MIS that's what they would write well I've got city well you're really looking for yeah. one person from the committee to go you probably no, oh no I haven't no I this was the intention was okay. that this commission be, I'm going to see if I can do it I'm going to see if I can I gotta look at yeah. my I, foot I at days Tuesdays and Thursdays are bad okay so I have to I will ask my employer yeah it's from nine to one and it's here. Is right? it one or one thirty? Yes. Yeah, one thirty. They're supposed to be here at eight thirty. 
Well, 8.30 to 9 is when yeah. people come. Be a day. I got you signed up. But you don't have to be here. I got you mm -hmm. signed up for that. It's okay. like to give people a chance okay. to get here. Yeah. Here. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. And it's at the senior center it's, here. Yep. Me and 67 mm -hmm. Con Street. Okay. So I will I will let you know. I have to. I'm going to email you. Can I email you? Yes, you can. check my schedule on Thursday. What's that? Okay. I'll email Email me. Okay, yeah. that would be great. Now, is this, does this also go to the district attorney's office because of the human rights? And yeah, the yeah, rights? they're um, invited. Yep, yep. I know. They're invited. Let's see if I can work this. A lot of building commissioners in the area Thank have been you. invited. Um, Stavros has been invited. And there was a broadcast statewide by the yeah. Department of Elder Affairs okay. for people who work with. How many um, people are you hoping to accept? I can, uh, I, I, the limit is 75 people. Mm -hmm. Do you have another application? Yeah. Because this is on September 26th, yeah. and we have two new board members being approved. Oh, who are they? At that? City Council. Oh, okay. That's to be on their board. Uh -huh. One is an attorney coming um, for the recommendation at yeah. City Council, and Patty Healy is another one. Uh -huh. So um, with the new members, well, actually, we have a board meeting this week. So the board is going to get this, and then well, any, I'll see Patty's one. Oh, okay. And then the new members will um, get you a whole packet of information. Yeah. Well, you're not going to see the new board members. No, but I have a packet that I would be sending them about being on the board yeah. once they're um, sworn in. Yes. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. That's, that was one bag, just one. Oh, you have one more thing. Yes. Um, so this is being sponsored, and it, it again is uh, the focus is. Um, how we can work more effectively and um, with uh, those with disabilities. I'd like to ask if the commission would be um, willing to vote on allotting some funds to be used to purchase um, refreshments for this um, event, which means there's a continental breakfast that's um, provided. And um, so I would like you to entertain that idea. Oh, yes. I think that's a great idea. Now, I think that's a great I, idea. I need though. some verification yeah. here. You're asking our committee to donate some funds out of our commission money for what? Um, to purchase like muffins, the coffee, Danish. For how many like people? That. Well, for 75 people. So I'm thinking if it's too, like, Averaging out two dollars a person, it would be one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so my question, I need to get this clear, Patty. Yeah, is that this is a seminar that also for is for employees in the city, correct? Right. Not just commission on disabilities. No. This is a training that we asked to be done a year ago because of a problem. Mm -hmm. So. My question to you, as the director of the senior center, is why is not other departments pitching in for it? Uh, I haven't asked like HR or does the city have a pool of money. I haven't asked that. I thought because I, 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 I I'll have to find out now. Um, as the ADA coordinator and the li li liaison to this committee, that it may be. Um, an opportunity to um, request funds for from this group because it really it the overall purpose of this is for is people to work disabled. more effectively yeah. with um, disabled people. I can see that, but they've had training before. So did other departments pitch in or not? Or do they you mean other types themselves? of trainings? On um, training for city employees. I'm looking at the funds here. And how Who's you want to go yeah. ahead mm -hmm. and spend it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the funds, but I want to know mm -hmm. this training was strictly through Joe Cook, our procurement officer, for training for every employee in the city. Mm -hmm. That's what we went for to make sure that all city employees were trained on how to handle people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're putting this on. Or is somebody else involved putting this on? I'm going to say pretty much as the ADA coordinator, um, I was putting it on in conjunction with Glenda Stoddard because of involving um, city employees in it. You know, I can't just decide to offer something. So my to city question employees. is, I'd like you to go to Human Resource first, mm -hmm. ask them if they do have any funds, because some departments do have them. 
mm. and help us pitch in on this. I mean, we might also, Patty, get restaurants who will pitch in. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I'm, I'm asking your opinion on this because when we went, it was strictly a training for all city employees. But everybody's not showing up. If there's only 75 people, it's not all city employees. I know, but this training. is where I'm getting confused, okay? Yeah, so it's a little bit different, When yeah. we went, it was strictly supposed to have been for mm -hmm. city employees to be trained because of what occurred. Right, I remember this one. Thank yes, you too. that was I mean, not a good one. The, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're I mean, saying that it's changed. I spending the money. It's just that I'm a little confused we're going way out with this when the issue was training the city employees and Ned Huntley agreed that they should be trained. Mm -hmm. uh, well, one of the things, in order to do this, we had to um, guarantee 50 people okay. would be at it. All so right. In order to have that person come in and do this? Right. Um, but, okay. But the thing is, you should be able to get more than that from the city. I it's agree. It's a city thing, and it's somewhat mandatory. Someone right. from each department should be out there. The way I, I would think if this was a city thing, one person at least from each department should be attending right. the seminar, so they can go back and pass along the notes to of whatever everybody they, else. To everybody right. else and in the I, department. I am and that should be. That's the way it that. should be. Susan, that's what I expect. That's what I. Yeah. So it's good that every that other people are welcome too. But if you right. seventy five people. I bet you only like 20%, not even 20% because I, of all those right. Things, right? Because I know, Patty, when we sat down with Joe Cook, you distinctly came out and said, well, we could go ahead and take one employee, a department head, have them trained, mm -hmm. okay? They go back then and train their staff. It's not turning out that way. Um, mm -hmm. and, and so in talking with... Um, I thought it was going to be mandatory. That department heads would come to this. If not, they would send their assistant. Right. Mm -hmm. well, see, that's um, not your deal either, though, Patty. Exactly. I mean, you know, you can only offer it. They can only take right. it or not right. if they well, want. You can make it mandatory. Right. But yes. she can't make it mandatory. No, right. but our mayor yeah. can. Yeah. Right. yeah. Mayor but is it a little yeah. 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 So maybe you should stop offering it to everybody outside the city until you find out if, if you're going to have even enough slots for the city. Well, if there were two, what um, Human Resources had said was, you know, two from each department, and then those two train people yeah, in the department. That makes sense. So with that, there there would be um, there would be many spaces still. Left. Okay. So and and the school department um, was invited as well. So can we still come? Because they work with the public. Yeah, we can still so come. So can we still come? <laughs> yep, Marianne still has a question. Oh. Yes, I have a lot of them. Yeah. My okay. question is, I, I thought I just heard you say, well, yes, there's 75, possibly, but there's still spaces left to accommodate city employees. Yeah, the city employees have the priority of all of the spaces. Mm -hmm. So if it worked that... <clears throat> we have 30, then there's 30 spots for city employees. How many departments have to uh, I'm going to say that they were, I, and I, I'm just sort of off the top of my head saying yeah. this, that 12 to 13 and then five schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and they should be participating. Two, they should be involved 30. with this as oh, well. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I would agree. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm wondering, is it mandatory? No, it doesn't sound it, like that. And, um, so Joe Cook had asked me that question. I emailed Glenda, to, who is the Human Resources uh -huh. Director, um, if she wanted to make sure department heads knew that this was something people should be coming to. So I, I haven't heard back, but I can you know, check in with her tomorrow. Can you do that? Oh, no. Because I, I have questions to Joe Cook who I'll give a call on this because... It was such a huge yeah, issue. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. I mean, there could have been a problem here. Mm -hmm. And thank God, well, the person could have two or three years to go ahead and file. But anyway, uh -huh. my question is, I wanted it mandatory. We were told, yes, it would strictly mm -hmm. be for city employees to be trained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's okay if you go outside once all the city employees right. fill the initial we know slots. That yeah, all the city employees yeah. are going to be there from every department, and I have to look at what departments. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds like the school department department's too. a little different too. I mean, then you got the school department. You got the fire yeah. department. Yeah. You got the school if you department. If you start bringing, the, if you really start looking at this, yeah. 
You know, you got the city clerk's office, yeah. register yeah, of voters, register of deeds, yeah. DBW, yeah. Yeah. So you got so the water and sewer department. What else is there? Um, yeah, yeah, we got the idea though. It's true. Science. It's true. Yeah. Right. So and they, you've got conservation planning. You got. Um, oh, yeah. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. And looking at that, you've police got, department, yeah. dispatch, yep, they fire all department. Were, all were invited. Assessor's office, okay. yeah. the veterans' office. Yeah. So they all have been invited. Uh huh. How did they get invited? I sent um, an email to everybody. The letter that you have, as yeah. well as mm -hmm. the uh, flyer. Okay. So we got, mm -hmm. got that. Okay. I just want to make sure that it's being done the way we talked about. That was, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, city employees have the priority of it because of. People from all the outside are coming in first before making it mandatory here for the city. Mm -hmm. That's not correcting a problem. What well, has occurred in our city, which the mayor does now. So with the total number that can be here, there's ample space for about, city employees. So okay. what is the total that we can accommodate? We can have up to 75. So How many people, that's two how from many people do you have committed right now? Do you even know? You just sent it out? Uh, I oh, just, you just sent, sent it out. out. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Monday's I didn't know if you had if you had a Tuesday. number already. Okay. okay. I think there's probably so, two at this point. Yeah. Right, and plus the senior center. Yeah, so number... And yeah. volunteers who work with people here should be attending it also. Yeah, yeah, I think for our volunteers, we're doing something different. We're doing a different kind of training. What event. kind? Well, it'll be about working with the disabled, but also about better communication and... Mm -hmm. um, so actually, training. Yeah, actually, um, there's a new director um, coordinator at Vins. Be good if she were yeah. part of that. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 If not for this one here. Do but you know her, her name? Or um, his name? No, it's a her, and she's brand new. I can find out from the school department. Yeah. Yeah. I just it's totally slipping okay. me. Okay. Here we just hired her. All right. Okay. So, can we move on? Dan, Dan, has, Dan has a question. Yeah. Or is he on top? Okay. Uh, I didn't hear the end part, Dan, but about work, you have a pet peeve about working with the disabled or? Working with disabled versus? People. Versus people with disabilities. Yeah, got it. It's a language. It's um, yeah, a language. Yeah. It agreed. People with disabilities is better than disabled people. Oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Thank you for the reminder. Okay. Yeah. So awesome. People with disabilities versus disabled people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So we're not defining people. Right. Yep. We're 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 people that happen to have disabilities, but have many other important attributes as well. We're not just disabled people. Thank right. you mm -hmm. for the reminder. That's that, awesome. As an example, was the labeling of people who were called and being mentally retarded, mm -hmm. and we fought that through the state, and yep. then it changed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, I, I just wanted to, if, if everyone is okay with this, I just wanted to take a few minutes to say that um, I really feel that um, PBTA is overdue for um, having one of their riders meetings because um, my transportation personally has been okay for the most part except for this morning when I had a ride, ride be very late and somewhat problematic. but. Many people have been coming to me and saying that they've been getting inconsistent information um, about trips. For example, someone that I know um, was told by one person that she could be picked up in Westfield or Springfield, somewhere out of the county, um, and brought back to Northampton um, 
at 8.30 on a weeknight, and then someone else said, oh, no, no, the latest ride you can get back is 7.30. So now she's, now she's, she's, thir stuck. Now she's thoroughly confused. Yeah. She's stuck. She can't do the, the thing that she was going to do, which was something that was personally important to her. Um, I've also had people tell me that they've hey. been... I've, can I go ahead? Yeah, keep going. I've, I've also, I've also um, had people tell me that they've been like stranded in the street waiting for rides. Um, things are starting to happen again, and I'm just wondering if um, we should encourage um, PBTA to have one of those meetings, not where they, not not where they bring their own agenda and like spend half the meeting talking about whatever they want to talk about, mm -hmm. but a meeting where we have the full hour or hour and a half to, um, a for, for people, yeah, yes, for people to just talk about the mm -hmm. problems they've been having, because my, what's been happening at the last couple meetings I've been to, and I didn't go to the last one because I had a scheduling conflict with work, but um, what happened at the last one I did attend was that they spent like 45 minutes blabbing about whatever they wanted to blab about uh -huh. like like la di da di da these are the changes this is the this this is the that and they gave people 15 minutes for comments mm -hmm. and people couldn't stay later because guess what they didn't have transportation mm -hmm. so so yeah, i i public. just have um feelings about that i also have feelings about um <clears throat> some really you know talking about what we were just talking about in terms of the way people with disabilities are treated, some really patronizing behaviors on the part of some drivers that I really want to call out. Like, I really mm -hmm. wanted to stop. Um, so, Why like... Are, are there problems with bus drivers' behaviors? Van drivers? Yeah. Well, okay, so... People who don't have disabilities might not think these things are a big deal. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I, I was, um, there's this one female driver who um, just has a very patronizing aura about mm -hmm. her. Okay. And I, um, my disability is not in my hands. My disability is in my eyes. Mm -hmm. So she's known me for a long time, and she knows that I'm able to do my own seatbelt. Mm -hmm. So I sat down one day, and she says to me in a very patronizing tone of voice, I know you can do your seatbelt yourself. And I just, I wanted to say to her, I just glared at her and put my headphones on. What I wanted to say to her was, really, so why is that conversation worthy? That is extremely patronizing to talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. You almost should have said it. I you almost, I, yeah, you I, I, you know, I, I couldn't. I know, to I be know. honest, yeah. in the moment, in the morning, on my way to work, I, I, I honestly just couldn't deal with it in that yeah. moment. I just I froze. Don't I don't blame you. But, uh, but isn't that rude? Like there, there's no staff. reason for that. Yeah. You, you yeah. Know with training Especially what they do. Yeah. On how to work yeah. with people with different types of disabilities. And then. A another time. That's a thing to bring up. We do a yeah. round table. Well, that's what I oh, want to yeah. bring up. Right. That's why I want to have a meeting and I want to bring up. So another time, another male driver yeah. um, said to me, so I sat down. My way of coping, honestly, with the paratransit van service is to um, not engage in any conversation with them. I just get on the van, I put my headphones on, and I listen to an audio book because I don't want to engage in conversation with them. They're providing me a service, mm -hmm. and I just don't want to because I just don't because of their mm -hmm. rudeness and so so this another time I sat down and these are recent episodes within the last couple of months um, and this guy dropped me off now I have two bags that I bring to work I have mm -hmm. a pocketbook mm -hmm. with you know stuff that a person puts in a pocketbook and I have a work bag that I have my braille note and my lunch and stuff it is not complicated to pick up two bags and walk down a couple of steps so this person says to me, oh, mm -hmm. it, I am, I have always been so impressed with how organized you are. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, managing all those bags. And I said, this time mm -hmm. I did say, I said, really, all I have to do is pick up two bags and walk a few steps. Like that's not anything to be impressed about. That to me was very patronizing. Yeah. That's yeah. saying like, wow, it's such a big deal that I can do that. Mm -hmm. And then I've had people say, 
Um, and this, you know, may not seem like a big deal, but, you know, it felt somewhat harassing to me. Um, and it was kind of funny at the same time. Um, I, one day, and I, I actually didn't look particularly nice that day. I just had on, like, capris and a T-shirt because mm -hmm. I was going to an outdoor concert after work. Yeah. And, but I looked decent, but not yeah. fabulous. But this guy <laughs> says to me, oh, you look so pretty today. And it's like, they should not be saying that. No. They should not. I mean, no. it's different to say, oh, that's a nice bag. Where'd you get it? But to make yeah. comments about my appearance like that. Mm -hmm. So I, these things really, I feel like, need to be commented on. And I'm not the only one experiencing them. Sure I've heard from other Where people. Is what you call educating. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's just what it is. Oh, hi, Dan. Do you want to say something? Yeah. I'm doing a suggestion. A suggestion? <laughs> Wait till you get to your destination before you say something to them. Thank you. <laughs> that is good. Thank you. Well, actually, usually they, it's interesting because usually they wait till I'm about to get off the van before they say it, except for the seatbelt one. Yeah. She said oh, it when, there. she said it when I first sat down, but um, it, that was ridiculous, and I, I just I just froze. I should have said it to her. Yeah. This particular mm -hmm. driver is so patronizing, and she's always bragging about how um, she has so much money that she really doesn't need this job. Huh? She just does it because she's bored in her life, and it's like, I feel like saying, really, then why don't you go volunteer and let someone have a job mm -hmm. who needs it? I was going to say too much information. Yeah, what no is that kidding. class yeah. again, Patty? Yeah. It's, it's the six. seminar is September 26th. Can we invite them? You oh, should. Just, they should actually you. be going. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, they should be here. Yeah, mm. exactly. If you're going out and you've got all these other people coming from all over the place, um, I'm hearing something to me. Is They need their own training. You got it. They need somebody okay. to come in for them only. And what I'm doing, I am <laughs> requesting that we make a motion, okay, make a motion that at our next meeting, get them scheduled to come here, and it's a round table. If they want an agenda, they will not have an agenda. We are inviting oh, them to come for a round table. Yep. Uh, Nicole Rowan has come before when she we've has. invited her, and it's, yep. it's like our forum is yep. sort of what we want. So. You know, she's been very agreeable to do that. Mm -hmm. So do you want October, October to feed off of what Marian had said? So October um, 14th? Have, um, I think that would be surrounded perfect. around just that? Yeah. I think that sounds um, fine. I, I would rather do it before the winter comes because let's nip yes. some of these issues of abandoning I, people before it gets too right, cold. Right, and, yeah. and some of this patronizing stuff because I'm about yeah. to jump out of my skin. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think if... Do people that is Nicole the right person or somebody from Hume, which is the subcon the Well maybe it's both of them. Yeah, that would be good to get them both. And Paul. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, Paul maybe. I think Paul should hear it. Yeah. yeah it would be good for both. And Paul's been here before too, although mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, if he's invited, I'm sure he'll he'll come. So do you yeah. want me to contact well Councilor Barge wanted a motion, so right, so that we can motion. Yeah. And then um, you can tell me if you want me to call. Sure. Um. Okay. So who wants to make? I don't think I, I can't make motions as the chair. Is that right? That's why I don't make them. Right. Okay. So can somebody else make a motion? Susan. Okay. Make a motion on the fourteenth of October that we call in. Um, people for a round table to discuss transportation issues. It's actually the 15th. The 15th? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Tuesday the 15th. October 15th. Tuesday, October 15th. Round table, calling in um, the different organizations and groups for uh, transportation so, issues. Humes and Nicole. Humes. Isn't there, uh, isn't there somebody else there too? It would be Humes and PBTA. Hume, the um, PBTA subcontracts the paratransit van service to a company called Hume's Transportation. Okay. Okay. That's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. G -G -G -G. And I would suggest, I think it's going to yeah. take longer. I would not want to rush this meeting coming up in October, even if we have to run a half hour late. Sure. To me, that's fine that we get all our complaints out. I will finish. And our feelings. I'm in the meeting. Meet me outside. 
six. Fine. Thank you, Siri. I got, a, I got a motion. You need a second. Oh. That was bad. Yeah. Yeah, need to. Oh, okay. Oh. So, okay, so um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so this is just for our commission, right? This isn't a public forum. No. Yeah. Well, it's open to the public. Well, we might have public here. Right. right. So. so can we, um, is it acceptable to mention this to members of the public who I know have issues sure. with this? Why sure. Why not? Because we're it's a public committee. Public. Our meetings are always open to the public. Yeah. It just happens that it'll and the be agenda's there. published and everything too, so yeah. people will see it. Yeah. It's on the agenda. It's posted because of the right mm -hmm. o open meeting law. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And do people think it's is it okay if I give those examples to them about what I just told Absolutely. them? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are very good examples. Definitely. Because those are appalling. They yeah. just make me feel really horrible. Oh yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. So okay. So, Sorry. <clears throat> could you please do me a favor? Yes of what you just mentioned to us, okay, of incidents that occurred with you. Mm -hmm. I would like you to email that to me, and I am going to invite a couple of people from the district attorney's office. Mm -hmm. I would like you to come in and hear what's happening here, because this is not good. I know. Like, they should not be, and I think it's. I think these drivers are unaware. I don't think they realize that mm -hmm. they're talking to me. That, that, exactly. that there's anything Daniel's, wrong. Daniel, Daniel, I think is in agreement with Daniel, you. I think yeah. you're right here. This is what scares me: people not being educated. He disagrees. He disagrees. You disagree. Wait, no, you think they're? I was they are... just agreeing. I was just. Agree. Agree. Oh, oh yes. so you agree that you agree that they often just don't have awareness of the obnoxiousness of their behavior. So, and I would like to ask my colleague, did you get the invite? Tell them specifically what you did in California. Tell them specifically when they're giving you a ride what you don't care for? No, after you get to your destination. After you get to your destination, okay. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah. Got it. Otherwise, you'll be stranded for sure. Got it. Okay. Um, that is probably for Dan. Yeah, my ride is. PDTA, your husband. My son should be out there, too. So, do you mind contacting them? No. No, we can do that all in. Nicole, Nicole Rowan. Rowan yeah. Thank you, Patty. Yeah. Thank you guys for your support on this. I really no, appreciate it. I'm glad Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, um, everyone. I really feel very supported on this and mm -hmm. happy. Yep. Is there anything else? Um, there isn't. So do we want to have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. Bye, guys. Sheet. <laughs> Jury's gone. <laughs> All right. Um, see you all in October. Okay. Thanks, true. Susan. I'll talk to you. No, Tori. Okay. Another thing I thought about. This really, if you look at it, it's a human rights.